Right now, I'm joined by somebody who is basically taking over the airwaves. You can't get away from this guy's music right now. It's, it's mad. It's doing bits. It's ADP. How you doing, man? Good, man. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Now, let's talk about this brand new single. Yeah. Right. It's uh, It's got some big names on there. Mm. It's got some rising stars on there. Yeah. And it's got Cranium on there. Yeah. Right. So you've got B Young, you've got Ebenezer. Yeah. And um, Cranium, obviously. So how did that lineup come about? Um, it came about... Um, I had the song... Well, I had the beat idea with the chorus and Ebs' verse on it um, after one session me Ebenezer and Treasure Marie we were just making songs um, and then Ebenezer took one song that we had together for, for his project um, so then I was like okay I'm going to take one for me so then that one that one was like the perfect one I was like it kind of fits into coming off the back of me doing Bestie for Young and a Young Bane similar sound similar energy I thought perfect so um, I was working with B Young at the time as well <clears throat> so I um, played it to B and then I sent him it and then like a day later he recorded his bit sent it back and I was like right you gave me a sick verse yeah and then so I had that and I was like okay I need one more person but because my last single No Good For Me I had Jeremiah on it with Ebenezer so I've, and I because I'm like I always go back and forth to America I like with my artist projects, I always want to have the best of both worlds. Do you know what I mean? I want to connect international to UK. Yeah. I don't just want to have 10 UK dudes on the song. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, eventually. I'm not about that. Americans might not get it. Or <clears> exactly. Yeah, yeah. And I want to kind of build the bridge as well. I want to help do that. Do you know what I mean? So, um, I, uh, my publisher um, sent it to Cranium. She um, publishes him as well. Um, so he heard it and he was like, yo, this is sick. So he done his verse, sent it back. And like, fortunately, everyone's verse like bees and craniums not me not being there they gave me a perfect verse that fitted the song yeah. you know things just work out nice. yeah no one clashed it didn't sound funny like it just kind of blended smoothly together and everyone's so different on the song yeah but it all just worked it keeps it original you've got like your like you said like a similar sound from bestie yeah. on there so it all just blends in really well yeah, yeah. and like um you've kind of collaborated a lot with Ebenezer yeah. in the past like you're on his project quite yeah. a bit mm -hmm. like he's been on No Good For Me and then he's been on this track like how did you guys first meet up as well? Uh, we met through basically my old publisher who signed me originally he signed Ebenezer at his new place okay. um, at Sony so we he linked us up from there Yeah, we done one song ages ago um, and then from there like we became mad close always did stuff together and now it's turned into um like i'm like see how drake and 40, 40 are yeah yeah it's kind of like that like all of his projects his whole album everything it gets sent to me yeah, yeah. i finish it up mix it all blah 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 make it sound great yeah and then then it goes out to the world so we've got a super like tight relationship okay but yeah you can hear that from like even like ask around yeah all, yeah, those, yeah. all them tunes yeah, are, like, yeah. Involved, like and it's just it's good to hear that because you don't really get that a lot there's a few people who kind of work closely with producers yeah. like that but you guys have been doing bits from yeah, there yeah, so yeah. it's a good look yeah now let's talk about the movie video right mm -hmm. so what's it like being on the set but actually in the video instead of just being behind the scenes more producer uh it's not as boring as when you're just at a video <laughs> shoot waiting around because yeah. that I hate to, I stopped going to videos <laughs> that ain't mine yeah, yeah. it's so long but um, yeah it's mad fun like yeah. being in it like it's jokes yeah. like, let's have a couple of drinks like you can relax yeah. yeah and like it's a bit stressful at the time because obviously it's your video so you're trying to make sure everything's on, on plan on point yeah, yeah. everything's going smoothly everyone's happy um, even though there's people for that job but yeah, obviously yeah. I still want to it's your song you feel yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Do you know what I mean I'm still attached to it in in all realms so yeah. um, it's stressful in that sense but it's so much fun man it, I had the sickest two days out there yeah where were you uh, Cape Town okay South Africa yeah nice sick yeah yeah have okay. you been to South Africa before the first time mad so you're yeah. just getting a full experience in the video yeah you know? but we got spoiled though man we got given this mad big three story mansion yeah. and, like it was crazy Super dope. That sounds kind of bad still, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so um, let's talk about the fact that, like, obviously now you're kind of coming out as a credited artist yeah. in the music. And I think I think it was last year or a year before, you got, like, Metro booming like, in America being like, producers don't get enough credit mm. for the music. Mm. And then, like, they should be credited more or just get more from it, yeah. right? So did that kind of help spark your transition to become 
accredited artist uh, or what, what made you decide to start doing that I always wanted to do it from be, like even like back in the day when I was 16 like made DJ and I was even like I had the ADP name from back then okay um, and when I was started producing like I always wanted to kind of be the person fe- and then featuring blah, okay blah, blah, yeah, blah. yeah but you can't just run and do that do I you mean, know what I mean you never know you know this, I mean you yeah, can yeah. but I guess it's a lot harder I don't know yeah I mean I guess back then it would be harder than now yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah it just became a kind of distant not a distant dream but some sort of a dream like oh, that would be great to do one day um, but then I just fell into just making songs for everybody else and then um, obviously it was still in the back of my head oh, I'd love to do it love to do it but I think the time just felt right yeah because I feel like you've got to be in a certain mental space to do this yeah like being in the public eye being in the front of it there's so much stuff that gets thrown at you and if you're not in the right headspace it can, it can kill you man yeah. like it can literally you start reading comments and this that <laughs> Like, if you're not in the right mental state, like, it yeah. can go south. So what mental space do you need to be in, then? Uh, just a positive mind frame, man. Like, And I feel like having some sort of <clears throat> success, whether it's major success, little success, whatever, like, yeah, yeah. some sort of stepping stones of success puts you in a frame of mind where you're like, okay, like, I'm good at what I do. Yeah, yeah. People like my music. They enjoy listening to my music, clearly. Yeah, yeah. Um okay let me try it myself yeah and you know just mean? jump right into it yeah does it, does it change like how you approach tracks when you're the credited artist though because like uh, yeah if you have a single and you're like alright cool I'm making this this is going to be my next single mm. and then you're producing something like I don't know like the Young and Craig David single mm. and you're like I kind of like that beat and I want that uh, beat nah I never do you know what it is I never when I do stuff for myself I never go into it saying I'm making this for me okay I'm not going into the room today going I'm gonna make a song for me okay. I'm not doing that I'm just making songs yeah yeah um, whether I'm with Youngin Lowski Mostak whoever it may be one day like in the room yeah like it might we might do two songs maybe three we might end up with four by the end of the week or yeah, whatever yeah. and then I'm like okay these are all sick Mm, let me see which one they're they're looking to use. Yeah, yeah. If mm, which one's my favorite, and then I'll be like, mm, let me try, see what That's they're saying. Yeah. Oh, I might use this for me. Do you know what I mean? Like, okay. I feel like it's too much pressure for me personally. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Going into it, going, okay, me and you are gonna make a song for me. Okay, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I feel like doing that, you end up even working with a writer, um, making a song for say you're gonna go into a room and say we're gonna make a song today for Justin Bieber yeah in that way again it's like you start boxing yourself into something that I hear that do you know what I mean yeah, that yeah. sounds like what he's already done and you're gonna get bored of it or yeah. people get bored of it yeah, as well. it's yeah. just, I just make I just make music to in that moment do you yeah. know what I mean and see what happens after that so what are you more of a morning night producer I'm a, what's your dream setting um, <laughs> I I do not wake up early um it's quite very bad it's quite early right now yeah so, yeah. <laughs> I was up early. this is the earliest I've been up in a very long time yeah, yeah. Um, I'm more of a night but I've adapted to daytime yeah I mean I don't start my session until 2pm anyway so 2pm yeah. onwards That's but until like what 2am or something yeah I'll probably leave studio 2 3am sometimes nice. a bit later but yeah, yeah. usually around then yeah and like obviously you work out in LA as well yeah so I remember was it No Good For Me you originally had like Vori on it or you were yeah, working yeah, with Vori yeah, yeah yeah like how is it different working in like a studio setting in like LA than working uh, in London is there any difference or is it mm, pretty similar but in America they got the gift of space so they're always a lot bigger studios yeah. and you might yeah like you'll get thrown into like the big studio in Paramount where yeah. it's like seven hundred dollars an hour or something, but Mad, yeah. it's, you're not paying it, so it's all right. But it's, it's, fine, got yeah. big, it's got the big wall speakers, the big SSL desk. Yeah, you've yeah. Got runners coming in. You want a drink? You need some cookies? That's it, you want me to go yeah. to the store for you? Get some sushi. <laughs> what, what do you need? Yeah, that's yeah. The, the sick difference. Yeah, and more time you get an engineer as well to cut. 
to do the vote. Like after I'm done with the beat, yeah, yeah. here you go. Here's the MP3. Okay. I can put my feet up, have a drink while the engineer starts doing that. Yeah. But yeah. to be fair, I actually prefer recording myself because yeah, yeah. I'm very OCD of how it's done yeah, yeah. and the sound of it. So yeah, I like to do it myself. But if sometimes if I'm lazy, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. engineer. You can but I doubt that's that's probably very rare. Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah. More time, the, I do it myself. At the end of the day, when you are making music like this, and like when music is good and music popping as well, you're gonna want to make sure you take care of every little bit. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, let's go back to like what five years ago now. So like mm. Young Kings times. Yeah. Right. And that was a big moment yeah. where it feels like forever ago. No? It feels like time yeah. ago. But like that was a big moment for yeah. like you. Steel Bangles was on that as well. Mm-hmm. Like and obviously Ill Blues kind of come out now and is yep. doing a lot. What's it like to see kind of like peers that you kind of you all kind of around started around that time kind of yeah. get recognition? Yeah. What's it like now seeing like Steel Bangles just go off and be like massive, sick, and then Ill Blues? Yeah. Because everyone, everyone in the producer community, we're all even though like we have our own small circles but really and truly there's a big circle that yeah. we're all kind of a part of and we all support each other you'll all see everyone post each other's songs up like yeah. go check them out go check this out do you know what I mean like it's a it's sick to see everyone like succeeding and yeah. you're listening to radio and you'll hear Ill Blues song and whoever do you know what I mean like yeah, yeah. sick you guys always seem to drop at the same time you know I know it's mad <laughs> it's crazy yeah yeah I think what was it last year it was a No Good For Me remix yeah and then I can't remember Ill Blues shoot off the top of my head right now but it both came out yeah, in like a two week break and it happened again this yeah, time yeah it's mad and we're both in the same studio yeah like yeah. they're downstairs I'm upstairs mad it's mad but like let's talk about Young Kings though mm-hmm. and like the fact that it's one of those situations where that was such a legendary moment yeah. and you executive produced the whole album yeah or mixtape mm-hmm. like looking back at that now five years mm-hmm. on how does that feel uh, I'm glad that I was able to have that experience it yeah. taught me a lot and then to go straight out of that into uh, a major release yeah. album with A-list artists on it Ed Sheeran with Khalifa Rick Ross YG yeah, Emily yeah. Sande blah 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 like to have songs with all them people and like oversee the whole project to make sure ev- to make sure like we're all happy in the room and to make sure them guys are happy yeah, yeah. like it's I'm um, grateful for the experience to be fair like it's yeah, sick yeah. to have that so I mean not everyone gets that yeah I mean looking now let's bring it back to present day so you just dropped a brand new single mm-hmm. your single then yeah. you dropped one with Young and Craig Davis which came yeah. out what else is coming out because there's so uh, much stuff coming out for you right now so my one Young and Craig David a uh, lot of boys kind of surprise just came out yeah I did uh, I got their next one coming out in the next few weeks I got a Dua Lipa song called Want To that just came out with a partnership with Jaguar for their new car okay that just dropped yesterday yeah um and it's gonna be on her album in October coming out her re-release decent yeah uh I got oh there's so many so much uh, you yeah, get, yeah. there's so many coming out <laughs> it's a big run from now for a couple of weeks yeah it? yeah, yeah so it's, I mean, you're mostly just enjoying the ride, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, sick. It's crazy. It's hard to find time to do anything else. Yeah, yeah. But it's good. Um, I couldn't complain. There you go. I'm going to leave it there as well. So, ADP, thank you for joining me today. Thanks so much, bro. Thank you.